Hey there, today we'll be discussing how to respond to a read then speak prompt from the Duolingo English test. Our example prompt is, talk about the weather. What is the weather today? What kind of weather do you like best? Why do you like this type of weather? Let's look at a sample answer and break down some key language components. The weather today is absolutely perfect. The sun is shining brightly in a clear blue sky with just a few fluffy white clouds drifting by. There's a gentle breeze that keeps the temperature comfortable, around 75 degrees Fahrenheit. This is exactly the kind of weather I like best. I'm a big fan of warm, sunny days that aren't too hot or humid. It's ideal for spending time outdoors, whether I'm going for a walk in the park, having a picnic with friends, or just sitting outside with a good book. I love this type of weather because it boosts my mood and energy levels. The sunshine makes me feel happy and optimistic, while the pleasant temperature allows me to be active without overheating. Plus, everything just looks more beautiful on a clear, bright day. The colors are more vibrant and the world seems more inviting. It's the perfect weather to enjoy all that nature has to offer. Now, let's dive into some idiomatic expressions and useful collocations from this sample answer. Idiomatic expressions. I'm a big fan of, this expression means you really like or enjoy something. Boosts my mood. If something boosts your mood, it makes you feel happier or more positive. Useful collocations. Shining brightly. This collocation describes the sun's intense and radiant light. Clear blue sky. A common way to describe a cloudless, bright blue sky. Fluffy white clouds. This phrase paints a picture of soft, pillowy clouds in the sky. Gentle breeze. A light, pleasant wind that's not too strong. Pleasant temperature. A comfortable, enjoyable temperature that's not too hot or cold. Spending time outdoors. This phrase refers to leisurely activities done outside, such as walking, picnicking, or reading. By incorporating idiomatic expressions and collocations like these into your own responses, you can make your English sound more natural and expressive. Keep up the great work and happy learning!